In this video, I will show you how to make a guidebook using Sapphire Bot. Firstly, invite the Sapphire Bot to use server. Once you've added the bot, make sure it has all the permissions to work properly. Now, go to the Sapphire dashboard. Go to the Messages tab and create a new message template. This is going to be our main message that everyone will see. I already have the message templates with me, so I will just copy them here. If you want to download these message templates, then check the description. Now, I will be creating four different templates that will be used as our server guide pages, and later on, I will link them with our main message. Now, let's make the buttons that will be used for our guidebook. Now, go to the components and head over to the buttons section. Right now, we have one main message and four different pages. So, I will be making eight buttons. First button will be attached to our main message. On the next page, we will have the back button and the next button. We will do the same for the second and third page, except for the last page. On the last page, we will close the message. Let's add the action to our main message. Choose the send message action and then select the first page. So, whenever someone clicks on this button, they will open the first page. Make sure that the ephemeral option is toggled on. So, whenever someone clicks on this button, only they can see the message, not everyone else. Now for the page one back button, choose the action as edit message and select the main message template. Now for the page one next button, choose the action as edit message and select the page two template. Now for all the pages, you will choose the edit message action, except for the last page. On the last page, we will close the message. So, choose the delete message action. Here is an overview of how the button components will look. Hey there, sorry to interrupt, but I wanted to let you know that I have recently launched my community. We have a variety of channels wherein you can talk with community members, seek help related to Discord, find resources, and much more. Also, if you're someone who doesn't want to handle the tedious work of server setup, then you can hire me. I have launched my paid services, which you can find here. So, click the link in description and I will see you inside. 
Now, let's create the buttons for all the message templates and assign the actions to them. As you can see, the message is not getting closed. That is because on the page one, we need to disable the back button. To disable the back button, go to page one message template, edit raw. Below the label back message, enter this code, disabled, true. I have added this code in the description of the video so you can easily copy from there. Click on the Save Changes, and let's see if it's working or not. You can also take it to the next level by adding icons to the buttons. One hour later. Now, finally, let's see how you can send the same message using custom branding. That includes your server icon and server name. Go to the Sapphire dashboard. Click on the Send Command Message option. Enable the Webhook option. To get the image URL, add the icon in any of your private channel and copy the link. Then head to default messages and search for send message command. Click on the load option and select the main verification message.
Now go to your server and run the command as exclamation, send one. If you want to set up a community server like this, then watch this video.